Thank you. So I would like to call Ms. Running Wolf to the stage. And Ms. Running Wolf's company is Eagle Summit. Running Wolf is a clinical herbalist and a certified care instructor. She speaks for plants and the power they have in healing. She is building a place where people can come together and learn about plant constitution and their healing power. A place to gather and learn yoga and a place to feel appreciated. I learned to respect plants, but asking their permission to harvest and respect them with a blessing of tobacco to thank them for their healing power. Running Wolf loves teaching about plants and their powers to heal and sharing their community about what is in their backyard. I applaud you and bring to the table Ms. Running Wolf. Thank you. Good morning, afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Anolia and Christina. It's a pleasure to be here today. Um, I am from upstate New York, and um, it is a very Amish, poor community. Um, there's not a lot of good health care for a lot of people in this area due to poverty. Um, I moved from New York to Pennsylvania last year and bought a house that had a barn that I am turning into Eagle Summit. Um, it is right across from a state park. I've learned several things since moving here last year about community and the importance of health it is to them. Coming from an area where it lacks to an area where community is very important, getting together with your neighbors, um, having community events. It not only boosts their health physically, but it boosts emotional health. Um, we are developing Eagle Summit um, to be a place where the community is free to come and share, free to come and help heal. I do teaching classes um, on herbs and the importance of how they heal your bodies. I'm trying to incorporate that into my neighbors who can't afford health care, that they have an alternative in our community that there is. Um, the state park across the street is offering um, plant walks that we're going to start incorporating in a monthly event for them to where I can go and teach the importance of the plants in our area, the plants that they have right there in their own backyard, so to speak. Um, I've known that by researching that mental health is important and nurturing that, especially with our mind during a time of crisis can greatly impact their daily lives. Um, there are a lot of people here that are alone that can't get out into their community. So we're trying to bring that community to them by going to them to teach, um, not just in my own place that we're trying to create, but door to door. Um, there's so many people that need to know and want to know and want to be a part and want to feel that they belong. If you feel like you don't belong in a community, you don't belong in a place, then you have a feeling of loneliness, despair, and depression. There's enough of that out there that we're just trying to start in the smaller section. Start with your neighbor next door, then the other neighbor, and then another neighbor, and join them in. That's your community. The people around you are our community. Find out what their needs are. We're trying to bring that need to them um, by doing CARE. CARE is a um, program that takes um, aromatherapy and uses that in healing spiritual, emotional release in, into, your, into your body. Um, we're trying to bring that out to the community to let them know that there are things here, there are people here, there are programs, not just in our little community, but all over. Wellsboro is a prospering community. Their health care, their, their community acknowledgement is great. Where I used to live is not. So I go back there. There's a little town hall 
we go there and we have meetings. We celebrate people. We have them come and learn about health and, and other ways that they can get healthy. Um, by we're starting a community garden for those people because a lot of them are elderly. They don't they can't go out and work in gardens. So we're trying to develop a community garden where the young can come and grow and cultivate for the for our seniors in our community and bring them healthy foods and teach them how to revert from using microwaves and they a lot of them can't they don't have the strength to cook so this teaches them how to prepare easy foods that are healthy we all have to do this together um this is a healthy communities start with healthy teachings we are to bring our hope and our opportunities to the poor moralizing our community. We are to love one another, share our work and minister to one another. As healers, we have to be open for the community. We have to be open to one another. We have to come together and make them comfortable. If they don't feel comfortable, if, you, if your community don't feel comfortable coming to you for help and healing and spiritual togetherness, then you have a poor community. You have a sick community. We're, we just strive to help our communities be healthier, emotionally, physically, mentally. It's, it's, we have the diverse to reach out to people in all circumstances of life. And that's what we're trying to do here is just reach out to all people in all circumstances, their mental health, their physical health, their emotional health. My, we're opening a place to where people can feel confident in coming to us and healing themselves spiritually, emotionally, mentally, so that together our community is healthy and our world is healthy. With a sick community, it spreads. A healthy community spreads. You have to choose which way you want to, which community you want to help influence. We influence our own communities by our teachings. And I'm blessed that I learned from a very young age um, with plants and how they speak to you. It's, it's you walk in the yard and you can hear them talk. So I took that upon myself that the universe is telling me, I'm going to teach you how these plants heal. Now it's your turn to take what we teach you to teach others. And as a community, we have to be strong and work together to keep our community healthy. And I thank you all for letting me speak and y'all are great blessings and very, very informative and I appreciate every one of you. Well, thank you so much, Kiran. Thank you. First of all, I must say, I love your spirit name, Running Wolf. <laughs> it's amazing. I just love it. I love the way that you build together with others. But I believe that you are the one who actually runs it as a running wolf, as a leader, right? With the pack, you kind of lead your pack, okay? And build a strong community where, as you said, if someone cannot go, then we go to them. If they don't, if they cannot produce, we help them to produce or we show them how to do something easy or we do it for them. I really, really love this, this approach of how to build a community. Yes. It's a strong sense of belonging. Yes, together we thrive, together we are better. And basically I love all of you guys today because you are talking about unity, right? Um, not about being separated, separateness and stuff like that, but about being united, building it together. I really, really love the idea. So thank you so much, Karen, for sharing. And I have to acknowledge you for all what you are doing in your community. Thank you for being here with us today. <laughs> yes, thank you, Running Wolf. And I just wanted to comment that um, how powerful, um, some may not recognize what you said, because to understand plants is to understand and navigate through the world. I haven't used over-the-counter pharmaceuticals for probably 15 years. And I went on that nature walk with Kiran many years ago, OK? And it opened a whole new world to me. And things that I was calling weeds in my front yard 
and we would run around going, we're starving. And there it is right in plain sight, what could be used, how I could take care of a wound and everything else right there in front of me. And my lack of knowledge just, just was a huge gap. So again, you know, what you're doing is powerful and to teach and to share that is, is huge. So thank you again, Kieran. Thank you, Running Wolf. <laughs>